We'll now move on to lining up the body's front, side and back reference images, repeating the same steps as we did for the head. Since our character will be wearing heeled boots, it was important that our reference model is also wearing them. These specific images were selected because they provide an accurate reference of posture and spine realignment that happens when wearing heels. And arms outstretched in standard T-pose provides information underneath the arms. Now that all our images are aligned, matched and saved, we'll review these and correct any inaccurate or lost information. Note how the arms are angled toward the back of the wall and away from the camera. This angle creates a foreshortening of the arm, making the forearm and hand appear a bit smaller. Here's a more accurate reference image of the same model's arm. Copy paste and adjust this new layer to match up with our front image. We'll then use a soft eraser brush to remove parts we don't need. Here you can see the difference between both arms. We'll save this as Front B. Here's the before on the left and the after on the right. Okay, now the side view. Note how the arm is covering up parts of the neck, shoulder and back. We'll use another reference image of the same model where her arms are resting down at her sides. Though having the arms down at her sides covered up much of the sides of her torso, which is also not ideal. So we'll prepare this image to have the best of both worlds. We'll save this new image and we'll name it Side B. Here's the before and after. We'll also need to adjust the back image. Note how the hair is covering up a small portion of her back and almost all of her neck. We'll fix this using the same steps as we did earlier for the front and side and save it as back B. And here's the before and after for these. 